Dale and Liz, uh, thank you for taking the time to talk to me and the students from Waterloo who will be watching the video. Uh, you're from Canada's Technology Triangle chapter of the PMI. And I'd like to begin by just asking you to talk about the chapter, um, your role within it, uh, and uh, what you do in your day jobs. Sure. Well, thanks very much for having us today, Peter. Uh, I'll start. My name is Dale Van Leeuwen. And, uh, I'm currently the president-elect, so I'm the incoming president of the local chapter, and uh, I'm actually a founding member as well. So I've been involved off and on for about 15 years, and uh, during the day, <laughs> or at least uh, what I do during my day job, is uh, I'm the program manager for the Enterprise Service Management Office in the IT organization at my company at the Cooperators. Thank you. Okay, hey, Liz. Good morning, Peter. Yes, my name's Liz McCashew, and I'm on the board of directors of CTT, but the portfolio I'm responsible for is professional development. And currently, I am, or my day job, I should say, is I've been a project and program manager within the telecommunications industry. Wonderful, thank you. And uh, we're going to talk about the PMI, the Project Management Institute. Can you provide an introduction to that for the students? All right, so as far as the Project Management Institute, it was uh, founded in 1969. And uh, what, uh, what brought it into being was really the desire to recognize project management as a profession, not just a job title, and to start formalizing and documenting the framework and the practices that we use to manage projects to improve success. And so it has actually expanded to uh, a global organization. So uh, we are part of Region 3, uh, but there are six major regions, and there are well over 275,000 members of the Project Management Institute globally. Okay, thank you. Um, and so why are project management skills so important today? Uh, why, why are these skills important for students to learn? Project management skills are a framework that can be used in any profession and also in your everyday life. And so whether it be for a student or whether it be for you know, a mature adult, these, this skill set is, is valuable wherever you go and whatever you do. Wonderful. And uh, why should students join the PMI? So it's important that they know about project management, but why should they join uh, the PMI and how do they do that? Students should join the PMI because what they'll get is access to project management uh, knowledge, um, educational opportunities, um, the ability to join our chapter as well, and, the, ex and uh, the experience from that. How they can do that is by going on to the website www.pmi.org and uh, go into um, membership and uh, join accordingly, but ensure you join as a student because the fees are a lot less. That's very important for them to know. Uh, so what's the role of local chapters? What, do, what does your chapter do? So local chapters provide a really good opportunity for all members to interact one-on-one, -on -one, so face-to-face -to -face with people and to have uh, a variety of different uh, activities that are geared to the industries and the skills that are particular to our area. And what the role of the local chapters is, is really to be an advocate for the profession in their local area and to understand the needs of employers and businesses who are looking for project professionals and be able to gear our training and, uh, and educational opportunities towards, uh, towards those companies' needs. So maybe to, to focus on that a little bit more, for students, why is it valuable for them to join the local chapter? What they'll have access to is networking opportunities with other project managers and, and their companies. They'll have educational opportunities. So we provide education through formal education, like a PMP prep course, or perhaps through our events, in which we have guest speakers come on various aspects of project management. OK, so and, and the local chapter is the Canada's Technology Triangle chapter that you're from. Uh, what types of activities are you engaged in, and how do the students learn about those activities? We're engaged in a number of activities. The most recent one that we had was a professional development day, which would have been ideal for students. And this provided them an op opportunity to understand 
uh, where project management stands with the industries as it stands today. Um, we also had another speaker that talked to them about how to um, how to present themselves uh, for interviewing and how to address it from uh, today's standpoint and how to project the project management skills that they would learn to whatever industry or uh, uh, they were they were going for or whatever position they were going for. We also have, as I said, uh, a number of events that would be uh, that we can that we customize to. Um, to different membership, whether they be the mature uh, project managers or students. And those events we do advertise on our website, which is www.pmi-ctt.org. So that's the website for them to check to see what's upcoming on events. Very exciting. And the, for a student who is interested in project management, wants to pursue this professionally, how do they become a professional project manager? So to gain uh, the project management professional designation, which is really the, the gold standard uh, in, the, in the industry today, uh, it takes a combination of both education as well as on-the-job experience. So it's, it's not, uh, not something that they can get right out of school. However, the education that they get and some of the opportunities that they can participate in through the chapter can help them get what they need in terms of education, which is 35 contact hours in uh, project management uh, subject matter. Uh, but what they need then is their degree and uh, anywhere between 4,500 and 6,500 hours of practical experience and then they can apply to write the PMP exam. Thank you and I also understand that there is the certified associate in project management, which is a possibility for people who are less experienced. Uh, how is this achieved and why might this be valuable to students? This particular certification would be excellent for students because it's an introduction into project management. What they require to write that particular exam, the CAPM, is a secondary uh, degree and 1,500 hours of project management experience or they can have 23 hours of project management education in order to write that exam. So it's an actual excellent way to get that designation which will of course look, look Im impressive on a resume. Absolutely, and the, uh, uh, there are other certifications that the PMI offers, most of which probably uh, won't appeal to students at the moment, but to give them a full understanding of the range of areas the PMI covers, can you briefly describe those uh, designations? Yes, there's eight in total. Of course, we've talked about the PMP and the CAPM. Then there's other designations that um, are more curtailed to the framework of risk management, scheduling, and agile. Um, and then of course there is the uh, portfolio and the program uh, management designations as well. Thank you and uh, thank you for answering my questions today. I just have one final question which is uh, for students today as they prepare to enter the workforce Based on your experience, what would you uh, advise them? What, what, what piece of advice would you like to give them? So what I'd like to share is a couple of things really. One is that project management skills and competencies are something that they can take with them throughout all of their professional career. And it's something that's going to help them no matter what they're doing. So it's, uh, it's a good basis for, for moving forward. But I guess my other uh, recommendation is to open themselves up to different opportunities and to continue on the path of lifelong learning because that's what's really going to position them to keep their options open and be able to get that broad range of experience that makes a career really exciting. Thank you. And uh, Liz, do you have any advice? Or? I'm not sure I could add too much more to what Dale said. Yeah. I think she summed it up beautifully, yes. Great, and I think great advice and, uh, uh, and also good answers to the questions. Thank you for taking the time to uh, explain the PMI and the opportunities that are available there to students, uh, to me and, and also to them when they watch the video. Thanks for your time today. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, our pleasure.